Sounds pretty good. Oh, just left me here to wait. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't mind, take a few seconds, hit that subscribe button. A lot of you guys are watching and not subscribing. It breaks my heart. But this is a story about how I uh, effed up the Yukon and we're still working on trying to fix it with Climax. So a while back ago, I got impatient when I ordered my stainless works exhaust. It was going to be four to five months out to get it. Well, I got impatient, cut the rear muffler off because it's got like four mufflers underneath of it. I cut the very last one off. After I cut it off, I didn't have time to weld a downpipe to it. So I might cut this tip off though. What happened was, is my exhaust was shooting straight into my bumper. Here and it heated it up also melted a bunch of waters and i hauled my that that was a week that we went down to rush off road and uh did the uh, poker run well i hauled the can am all the way down there it was about two two hours and 15 minutes going like 80 70 mile an hour and just completely melted my bumper so got back home welded my muffler that I cut off back onto it and we went to Florida <laughs> got back home from Florida the day we got home was the day my exhaust system was delivered so <laughs> kind of shot myself in the foot took it to climax they're still trying to work on it and they put my exhaust system on for me. There's a section right here. And there's a hanger right there. So I'm going to cut right after that hanger. And then... I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I might put this, cut this part off and put it on there. I ordered something special for it, but it won't be here for like another four months. Kind of upset about that. <laughs> the Harbor Freight Blades are pretty damn cheap, ain't they? It's cut. It's not very clean cut. I snapped like five blades off on this damn thing. I might cut this tip off though. And then I got this other piece of pipe. This will be done in a later day, I guess. Got this other piece of pipe right here. Now I'll run my down pipe right below, right behind the bumper right here. I'm gonna start it up, see what it sounds like without that muffler on there. I don't think it'll sound any different really because there ain't much to that. This thing also has an exhaust flap right here. This right here is the exhaust flap. I'm going to take the uh, Yukon to the shop because we got to get oil change after the Florida trip. Also, it's giving me all kinds of codes. So, side detection system, front camera, 
park assist system and uh <clears throat> pretty sure the exhaust is melting the wires in the back bumper trip to rust uh is when we notice everything going on so we're on our way to pick up the yukon from climax it was getting uh some exhaust work done and uh, i hope you guys like the way it sounds all right so i ordered stainless works cat back exhaust system for this thing Well, Joe and Jeremy found out the hard way that they only make the catback exhaust system for Tahoes and Yukons for the 5.3 engine. And this has a 6.2, which has a like bigger exhaust. The uh, stunt driving you're about to see was done on closed roads in Mexico. I'm done with that shenanigans. <clears throat> I gotta finish finish cleaning the uh, K and M out real good. Guess I'll go ahead and shut that. Finish cleaning out the K and M real good. I've been uh, shop backing the inside of it. So there's that old good old mess there. It's actually been working really well since the mud's dry. I can just shop back it all out. <laughs> to Haspen Acres and Road last weekend. I got the k and all torn apart. This is junk. Like, you'll see that when I pull it out. And then I got parts for it. Got one way bearing, the primary clutch and secondary clutch out. Which they don't look too, too bad. So I'm gonna put those. Try to put most of it back together. I don't have all the parts I need just yet. Back to the house and get parts for a side by side that I left there. And I figured, uh, fuck it, I'd take the slingshot since I haven't gotten out this year. My mom uh, wanted to make sure it was good to drive before she drove it. <laughs> at Nicole's. Let's try this again. It's a little cold for that. But it's still real fun to drive. I don't care how cold it is. I also found a vacuum hose that goes on my front diff right there. It was off. And it slides off real easily. So I'm wondering if that was a four-wheel drive issue that I was having. I don't know until I get the whole thing back together and driving again. So Oh, a whole passenger side off. All I need to do is uh, undo this over here and then I can slide this cable, the shift cable out. 
And I think while I got everything, while I have everything undone and shit, I'm gonna clean it all real good. Got the new shift cable here, brand new boy. I don't know how good this looks, cause I can't really see it. I don't know about you guys, uh, if you like watching uh, videos of hillbillies working on shit or not, you know? I don't really care for it too much, but uh, sometimes it can be entertaining if you got a group of friends. I haven't really done too many videos of me uh, working on this thing because uh, I constantly am working on this thing. Wait until you see this thing, dude. It is destroyed. Might give Jake a call. See if he wants to come out. Yeah. So there's my problem. That's my shifting problem right there. Mm. Got all the passengers side back together. Just need to put the center console on. I'm currently filming with my phone because my GoPro is being a piece of shit. It's got 8% battery left and it likes to just turn itself off. Waiting on parts for the clutch. There's these little plastic black pieces these little guys when i took it apart they all fell and scattered everywhere so i found all of them except for one of them of course and once i get that i can throw this side back together and we should be ready to roll i started it up this good we're gonna be ready to roll next weekend hopefully i don't know but next time i see you guys we'll probably be on the road heading to michigan and i don't know if we're gonna vlog this trip or not um uh, We'll find out, see how it kind of goes.